What's up, Pharmacy Nation? I am Pharmacy Joe. Thank you for being a listener of the Elective Rotation, a critical care and hospital pharmacy podcast. This is episode 570. In this episode, I'll discuss the possibility of euglycemic DKA occurring after stopping canagliflozin. I have all the evidence supporting today's show linked up in the show notes at pharmacyjoe.com slash episode 570. Shout out to Pharmacy Ashley for inspiring this episode. Sodium glucose co-transporter 2 inhibitors are known to carry an increased risk of DKA, which may occur with lower than usual glucose levels, even with euglycemia. Because these medications are reversible inhibitors, it's expected that the effects will disappear after five half-lives have elapsed, which for canagliflozin would be approximately two and a half days. However, there's at least one case report of glucosuria not resolving until 10 days after canagliflozin was discontinued. This suggests that the medication was still exerting its effects past the usual five half-lives and that a patient could theoretically develop euglycemic DKA several days after stopping canagliflozin. Because canagliflozin is primarily metabolized by UGT enzymes, a UGT polymorphism is the proposed mechanism by which the medication's effects would persist past the expected time period. For this reason, the possibility of SGL2 inhibitor-related DKA cannot be excluded in patients until many days have passed from discontinuation of the SGLT2 inhibitor. To access my free download area with 20 different resources to help you in your practice, go to pharmacyjoe.com free. Thank you so much for listening. I'll see you in the next episode of the Elective Rotation.